Hello, I'm coming to you from, why am I talking so quiet? I'm here with Zach in Atlanta. We just arrived at our hotel because tonight we are gonna see Catatonia for the very first time. I've been a Catatonia fan since like, I don't know, like 2004 or something. Never had a chance to see them. So I'm really excited. It rained for a great portion of the drive here. It was messy, but we were making a thing of this, right? So we got a hotel and now I'm just gonna like freshen up a little bit. We're gonna grab dinner and then we're gonna head to the venue. So I'm going to take you with me. No. Okay, we parked and now on to the mass grade. I, I haven't been there in like many years. It will only be my third time there in general. Oh, are we doing the stairs? Okay. Mm, it smells like pee. Sun's gonna be in there, which we aren't seeing. They've got a little taco stand. And then uh, Catatonia's gonna be in there.
B. They played like five songs for the great cold distance. So we just got out. It was awesome. Someone smoke smells good. Big long set. It was great. And they really liked Atlanta. They played Evidence. That was probably their oldest song they played. And then mm, we're in the PP stairwell again. And then they played July, July was real good, but it was all really good. Like a litter box in here. Thank you. You say I need to make that part of my thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we are home. I mean, we're at the hotel. It was a great show. We are exhausted. So, uh, hope you had fun coming along with us to the Catatonia concert. <sighs> Good night. So I wanted to do kind of a like a post concert wrap up. I realized there are a few things that I wanted to say before I end this vlog. It's Sunday now, the concert was Friday night, so I'm home, rested, all that. The show was really good. It was really great. This is my first time in the new hell at the masquerade, and it was just packed. But it's a very it's a really nice venue, like the lighting and the, the setup and the vibe and everything was really cool. Um, I'm not really always like a front row girl because I just don't like being packed in with people. But we did kind of get towards the middle because um, I wanted a good view for at least part of the time. So we got up towards the middle and the people around us, everything was just nice. Like it was such a good vibe. Like the people around us were not annoying. Um, everyone was just like really polite and well behaved and I had a great view of the stage and it was just really good energy. It was awesome. So I'm really thankful for the crowd, the people in attendance. After a while we did pull back and I think that's kind of a nice thing to do in a concert just to like experience it from a few different perspectives because it sounds different and looks different depending on where you're standing. So speaking of sound, I am not a sound expert. I don't know much about the technical stuff, but I feel like the vocals were just a bit too quiet. Um, that is because he is singing low and clean, right? So maybe it's impossible I don't even know to get the vocals loud enough to to stand out over the instruments but that was kind of frustrating because I feel like I couldn't hear him well enough and the vocals are really why I love Catatonia so this was a really like special personal experience for me seeing Catatonia for the first time one because I don't I don't think I have any other Catatonia fan friends and catatonia is not exactly like something you hang out with people and listen to because it can be very mournful very doomy i guess um and so catatonia is a band that i just growing up poured a lot of my sadness into um, and they were you know they were there for me even in my darkest times so it was really special to be able to finally see them and i guess for their music to come to this complete fruition for me. Because they are such a sad and lonely sounding band and I have been listening to them in solitude for almost 20 years, I didn't really know what to expect from the show. But I was really delighted to see they have a huge fan base, okay? And Atlanta was loud, like they were hype and Jonas even commented on like, oh my gosh, we are so tired, but you guys are like one of the best crowds we've seen. I know, maybe they say that to every crowd, but like it was packed out 
and these people were loud and all about it. So I was really glad to see that Catatonia still has a really like active and big fan base. You know, because I, I haven't seen those people. Where, where have y'all been? I don't know. But that kind of warmed my heart. And it also warmed my heart to see that Catatonia is still very much enthusiastic about their craft. For example, you may have seen the Tiamat video I did a while ago. Um, and I think it's kind of sad that Tiamat just can't, they can't fully invest in their music because they have other stuff going on like mental health, family, living in different places. They have other stuff going on. And it just feels like Tiamat isn't that invested in music right now. And I always kind of thought like, well, Catatonia is getting old and like, what if they're just not into it? You know, what if, what if they've got other stuff going on in their lives and the music is just going off to the side? At least from what I saw at the concert, Catatonia is still very much invested in their music and just very much about it and they're putting out new stuff that just keeps getting better and better and uh, I don't know they're they have a very good energy there was a lot of joy even though the music can be so sad another thing that I just wanted to comment on that I pretty much say anytime I'm seeing a veteran band is that the metal stage is one of the only places where being old is like, being old is the best. When you see these people get on stage and know they've been doing this for 30, 40 years, like, you're it. The older you are, the better. And I just love that. I think about aging a lot, obviously. I, th I think we all do. Um, and I just love that the older and older someone gets in, in metal, it, I don't want to say they're more and more valued, but they're more and more legit. And it's also such an honor to be able to see someone who's been doing this for decades and still doing it. The fact they're still doing it is so cool. Okay, a few other things from the concert. I forgot to film the merch table. Hell was kind of cramped and it was, I was just in the moment, you know, I wasn't really filming that much. Uh, there are a lot of songs that I, didn't film but two of the standouts uh they played evidence I think that was the oldest song they played and the crown was all about it and then they played July and July was just so heavy and hard hitting and it was like damn that was awesome that might have been what they ended with I don't remember but like evidence in July I didn't I didn't film those because I was just in the moment so with the merch table Catatonia's merch section had really shrunk down because this was the second to last show of the tour but I didn't showcase the merch or anything but and I didn't get anything either I should have got a CD though so at these metal concerts I'm always like what am I gonna wear what am I gonna wear and I was reminded on this night that really just like with the travel and with the clothes and like all the preparations simplicity and comfort are key <laughs> this is kind of a note to self like just Keep it simple. You're gonna be in a dark room packed in with a bunch of people. Like, it, it doesn't matter how cool you look in your outfit or whatever. You just need to be able to access your things easily and you need to be comfortable. There's a kick, wobbles. I have both cats here with me now. Yeah, you just, you need to be comfortable. And it rained, it also rained. <laughs> it was really just the pouring rain that uh, made things uh, a little chaotic. But yeah, note to self, like the outfit, the makeup, none of that shit matters. It, I'm torn because this is one of like the only times where you can really just dress up. But also like there's so many moving parts to a concert trip that it's like, do you, is that something you want to bother with? I don't know. It was a really great show and I do treasure the video clips that I captured that I'm also sharing with you today. And I hope I get to see them again. I do. I didn't try to meet the band and I really should have. So that's another note to self. You're already there. Try to hang back and meet the band. <laughs> Instead of sitting in traffic trying to get out of that parking deck for an hour. And finally, I just wanted to say that this night, December 9th, I had some choices to make, okay? We had Masquerade Hell, Catatonia. Masquerade Heaven, 
Sun, who I also haven't seen. And then Masquerade Presents in Athens, Georgia, Cannibal Corpse, Immolation, and Dark Funeral. All three on the same night. Um, I freaking, uh, y'all may know I'm an Immolation fangirl, but I just chose to skip them because I've seen them once before. And then I had to choose between Catatonia and Sun, man. And it, I mean, Catatonia wins. I've listened to them far more, but I would love to see Sun one day. So hopefully I will. And I think that concludes my commentary on the concert, the Catatonia show. I loved it. I love them. I, I wish I could have let them know how much they mean to me, but the crowd took care of that for sure. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Talk to you later.